A work of art has just sold in Italy for 15,000 euros. Want to see it? Hang on, I'll show you a picture. There you go. That's it. It's literally nothing. No, I'm not joking. Artist Salvatore Garau instructed that the sculpture must be displayed in a private home free from any obstruction in an area that's about five foot long by five foot wide. Because the piece does not exist, there are no special lighting or climate requirements. Listen to how this literal con artist described his great work. The successful outcome of the auction testifies to an irrefutable fact, comments Garau. The void is nothing but a space full of energy, and even if we empty it and nothing remains according to Heisenberg's uncertainty principle that nothingness has a weight, it therefore has energy that condenses and transforms itself into particles. In short, in us. When I decide to exhibit an immaterial sculpture in a given space, that space will concentrate a certain quantity and density of thoughts in a precise point, creating a sculpture that from my title alone will take the most varied forms. After all, don't we give a shape to a god we have never seen? Bollocks! You know what that's called? Artistic obscurantism. Wrap it in flowery, pretentious, obscure language for two purposes. One, to intellectually intimidate people out of calling it out for what it is, by suggesting their lack of understanding is their fault for being uncultured or unsophisticated. And two, to inflate its value from literally nothing to disguise the fact that it's completely worthless. By suggesting it represents something transient, deep and meaningful, it doesn't. All it represents is this pompous twat smelling his own farts while taking whatever idiot shells out 15 grand for a monumental ride. And this isn't even the first time he's pulled this scam. Last month, Garau displayed another image material sculpture titled Buddha in Contemplation. In the Piazza della Scala in Milan, near to the entrance of the Gallery d'Italia, Garau posted a video of the statue to his Instagram page. Again, it's nothing. Oh my god, so contemplative. As Dave Blount writes, in 1917, French artist Marcel Duchamp purchased a urinal and submitted it to the Society of Independent Artists as his own work of art. This is said to have changed art forever. To this day, artists continue to scam fools by retelling minor variations on Duchamp's lame joke. The effect of Moon Battery on Western art is now complete. First it insulted and debased art, e.g. Duchamp, then it rendered art incompetent, Jackson Pollock, Jean de Buffet, William de Kooning. Now it has erased art altogether. It is likely to have a similar effect on every other aspect of civilization. How did our civilization go from this to this. How far have we fallen from the Sistine Chapel to this or this? One of which sold for $45 million and the other for $70 million. What does it say about the vacuousness of our times that 500 years after the jaw-dropping majesty of the David statue, our generation's David is a banana gaffer taped to a wall. Does Salvatore Garau have any self-awareness? Is him cashing in on literally nothing a genuine work of comedic performance art. According to Garau, his art represents a perfect metaphor of our days. Couldn't have put it better myself.